Hey everyone, welcome back to Star Wars Galaxies. And this is an extremely handsome fellow right here, let me tell ya. Now we just phased through his head a little bit there. Anyways, we're not here to uh, make creeper faces at handsome gentlemen. We are here to uh, show that I've leveled quite a bit. Uh, last last uh, episode I was level 26, now I am 36. I'd be higher, but I've been uh, neglecting it a little bit. And I'm going to show off what I've been leveling on. I've been leveling off of this incredibly handy, very efficient uh, system right here. You just uh, go to these like little mission terminals with a yellow screen. And uh, I, I guess I better explain it. What these mission terminals do is uh, they spawn like a creature nest out in the wilderness somewhere. And you go out and you kill the creatures and kill a nest and it grants you a whole bunch of experience. And the system that does this is, uh, it lets you do it 10 times per day. And you can just, you know, do that 10 times a day for like an hour. That's about all it takes, like about an hour each day. And, uh, yeah. So I'm looking for, uh, specifically for missions out in the east. Uh, Mutant Womp Ride Lair, that's sure, sure, let's do this. All this text, it really isn't that, uh, really isn't that important. You can pause the video and read it if you want to, but it's not, like I said, it's not important. So we're going to get one for a creature nest and uh, east. Let's get one for a uh, an NPC uh, base. The Valerian Swooper Outpost. Well, we can never uh, bother Valerian enough. Alright. Let's go ahead and hop on our speeder. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you the difference between these, uh, two different, uh, what was I going to say? These two different things, like, one's an S and one's a base. Uh, the thing with the base is, um, actually I'm going to hold off on explaining these things until you actually have a point of reference. So, uh, I'll see you there when I get to the base. Alright, we are coming up on this, uh, yeah, see, when you get close to the mission target, it goes, transmission received, mission target has been updated to the exact location. Like it just gives you the general area uh, at the mission terminal, then it has to update to the exact location. Alright, we're coming up on the uh, base right now. And like I said, it just spawns a base out here in the middle of the wilderness, that's what uh mission terminal does. And some NPCs. But if you attack this base, then the NPCs will start attacking you, because they, they, the base belongs to them, and, you know. And there's only two of them, so we can just go ahead and take them out right here. I'm wondering if these guys are, like, husband and wife. That would almost make me feel bad for killing them. with the with their corpses. Alright. And now that the base is undefended, we will go ahead and start whacking at it. Now the difference between uh between creature nests and NPC bases is that NPC bases don't spawn extra NPCs. So, you know, I'll, I can just like sit here, keep on whacking at it, whacking at it. But uh, nothing will come get me now that the only two NPCs that were guarding it are dead. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast forward through this. Otherwise it's just going to be two minutes of me hitting a big giant piece of metal with a sword. This is just like really intense music for something that really doesn't deserve intense music. So the uh, the base is almost dead because it doesn't take that long. And now that we've destroyed the base, we get a award of experience and some credits, but the credits aren't as important. It says Compnor has awarded you with an additional reward of nine thousand two hundred seventy-seven experience for completing your mission. The Imperial Security Bureau Division of Compnor authorizes nine more experience payouts per this galactic day. 
And like I said, that you can do this ten times per day and get a whole crap ton of experience. And at my level, I can probably level up like three or four times. Probably just three times. I probably should have gone and get like an, gotten an experience buff from an entertainer. But I didn't think of it. Uh, Compnor. Yeah, interesting story about... Well, not really an interesting story, but... Uh, my experience with Compnor. Uh, where was it going with this? Okay, I just completely forgot. Oh yeah, um... Compnor, that's a, that's an interesting... That was an interesting name to me. Uh, first time I saw it, I was like, Compnor? Where, where have I heard that from? And, because I actually don't know what it is, I heard it... I actually read about it in, uh... In Tales of the Bounty Hunter, the, uh... Dengar story. Dengar being the, uh... The one human bounty hunter with, like, the turban on his head. And, uh... Compnor was actually, like, a... An Imperial... Imperial division that would go in on like an alien planet and like reform it to their needs. Uh, the need be the need in that the planet in question in that story being Aruza. And in that story, the Aruzans paid Dengar to uh, to kill an Imperial general there. And I, I thought it was a pretty cool story that he like gave the general the chance to run away, like a. Uh, like a most dangerous game kind of thing. They gave him five minutes to run away and they hunted him down. And I just thought, I just thought that was pretty cool. But uh, it was also interesting because uh, Dengar was actually revived by the Empire. And the fact that he was killing an Imperial General, well, you know, that's kind of a big deal. But anyways, I'll, I will uh, talk more about that when I get to Corellia. Because uh, Dengar comes from Corellia, and he has a particularly interesting story on Corellia. It's actually a place you can go to that involves his story. Alright. This lair now. Now you're, now you're actually noticing that, uh, well you probably didn't notice, but... This base is actually spawning enemies for us to fight. The, uh, the animal nests will spawn creatures to help defend itself. And, uh, yes, these creatures heal the base. They, like, get these little heart symbols above their head. And each time that does that, it heals, like, uh, like 20% of the base's health. So you gotta deal with the creatures, or else it's, it's kind of impossible to kill the uh, base. Damn it. Stop it, Wombrat. No. Don't phase in there. I, I can barely target your nose to attack you. I got I got to draw him out some. Oh, he's he's just gonna sit there and heal the base. Bastard! Get out here! Die! You're kidding me? I can only, I can only hit him when he uh, lunges out like that. There we go. There we go. But it's also kind of nice that the nest spawns those creatures because each time it does. It loses like a big chunk of its health. It loses like 10% of its health each time it spawns a creature. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw that, but you know, that's what the nest did. It might do this if it goes to low enough health. We'll see. Is it gonna do it? Each nest uh, only spawns like a certain number of creatures before it runs out, so it might not do it now. Yeah, I think this one's done. Oh no, I think I think it did. Did it? I can't tell. Nah, I don't think it did. All right, let's just finish this off and get our payment. Yeah, that was enough to level it up. Level us up. Sweet, We're level thirty-seven now. Alright, and uh, I think that's like the only uh, two things I'm going to show. I'm going to go ahead and level up the, uh, I mean destroy the last eight bases off screen. And uh, yeah, I'll see you when I do that. Back to my bike. 
Yeah, something you want to do when you're leveling is uh, you generally want to get missions that are closer to you. Like this one, it's only like a little bit over a kilometer. Uh, what is this for? It's uh, for Zookabor. Okay, I'll pick that up. You also want to make sure they're in the same direction. Like since I got one that was going to the east, I want to make sure I get another one that goes to the east. Like if I got one that goes to the west, well then I'm just like doubling or quadrupling my my travel time there. So I'll go ahead and uh, pick up this Mountain Dewback quest. And uh, off I go. Alright, I'm going to try and demonstrate uh, what I was talking about earlier, about how the health drops each time it spawns a creature. So let's go ahead and start whacking on this lair. And, she, yep, there it goes. See, it just dropped like a whole bunch. When you see that, you just go off and uh, kill whatever creature it spawned. So we have to make sure that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't heal the base. Go ahead and kill the boar. Go back here. I had to spawn another one. Dropped like another 10% of its health. And it like does half the work for you that way. As long as you don't let the creatures actually go back and heal the base. Yep, did it again. It's very kind to us that way. Whereas with like the NPC buildings, you'd have to do all the hard work yourself. So that's one of the bonuses from doing these uh, creature missions. Ah, uh, damn it. Well, it's kind of asking for that. Right, let's go ahead and keep on whacking on this thing. Another thing with these uh, creature missions, even if they do sometimes heal the nest, uh, you just get more experience overall because with the NPC missions, you only get to kill like two or three NPCs. And whereas with these creature missions, you can kill like five or six. And for every creature you kill, you get like however many hundreds of experience. And that adds up over 10 missions per day. Like you, you can get like a whole nother mission or two worth of experience just from killing the creatures alone. So yeah, you got more, uh, wait, what? Nine more experience payouts? Uh oh. I think it, uh, I think it bugged out, actually. We've killed three, uh, we've killed three things today. And we're still getting the message that we can get nine more experience payouts. I'm actually going to see if I can milk this for what it's worth. Because this is a, this is an interesting bug. I have not come across this bug yet. Interesting fact about uh, this whole this whole like mission system that I'm doing. This this uh Commodore thing actually wasn't there until it's like a, it's a fairly recent addition. I mean, it's been here for a few years now, but it was fairly recent. Like when I was back when I was playing, like three years ago. Uh. It's actually a attack one for them for like a much older system, and uh, a system that's been there since the beginning of the game. Like, like you could uh, since the beginning of the game, you could just go to the mission terminals and go out and kill a lair. And uh, actually, part of, one of my fondest fonder memories is just uh, on Dantween, just like going out and killing bulls and pickets. And just getting experience for like the various various trees. So uh yeah, that's that's that story. You know, interesting as it is. Anyways, I'll have to kill these bow cats. I actually did a pretty terrible job at explaining the whole uh bowl and picket thing. Like the, the fondness from it came from just like being with a group. You know, not just being by myself, just uh like picking up a group of seven other people, maybe more, for like older, older players. But I came in like during the combat upgrade when the biggest group allowed was uh, was eight people. But yeah, my uh, one of my fonder memories was just going out with a group of people, just shooting bulls, shooting pickets, and just leveling up and having fun with the group, just hanging out. It's just a. Uh, Getting involved with the community, you know? 
Whereas right now, I'm just kind of doing all this alone, and it's kind of boring. But back in the old days, you know, you could just pick up a random group and go level up. It was fun. But you can't do that anymore, so, you know, whatever. Anyways, now the story's over. Now I'm gonna kill this lair. Hey, look, it's a Ronto. It's, uh, you know, those things that were introduced in the special edition of the, uh, A New Hope. You know, that those fat things that got in the way of the shot when they were driving into Moss Eisley. Yeah, those things. And that the jaw fell off of. So let's go kill it. How dare you ruin my original trilogy. Bastard. Yeah. Just rub it in your face. I leveled up off of your corpse. Ha ha ha. Anyways. Off to destroy this the rest of this lair. Alright, so here I am back at Moss Espa. Like the eastern exit place. And I've just completed my tenth mission for today, but still it says I have nine more payouts for for this galactic day. It's done that for every mission that I've done. And, as you see, we leveled up three times today. So it's a pretty efficient leveling system, this whole Compnor mission terminal thing. So, uh... Yeah, I'm not sure what that bug is about, but... I know that I'm going to... You know, after I, uh... Save and edit this video and upload it to YouTube, I will... I will take advantage of this. Because we are running out of time. It is, uh... Right now it, it is September the 30th, and that only gives us about two and a half months worth of game left. So whether this is a bug or whether this is intentional, or I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going to uh, milk it for what it's worth and level up as fast as I possibly can so that we can uh, get some of the higher level uh, areas that I can show off. So I have more time to show off, I'm not just like spending day after day just at the mission terminal leveling. So yeah, uh, that's that. That's how I'm leveling up now. And this has been Super Vader Man. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.